look at uh, adding panel ends to a standard base cab. So I'll just grab a standard base, place it on the floor there. <clears throat> then I'm going to click the cabinet and go to its elevation. I'll click it again, go to, which will take me to the cabinet editor. And from here, I'm going to click on ends. And uh, I'll start with the left end. I'll check plan on and then plan on properties. And uh, we'll say I want to, there's different methods. I'm going to go with replace side panel with door. I'll click on define plan on. And uh, I can choose from any of these basic styles. I'll just go with uh, arch top rail. And I'll do the same thing for the right. Um, I could I could cu further customize this by going to other standards, and uh, you can change the top and bottom rail widths, the style widths, frame and panel thickness, and more options below. take a look at it <clears throat> so that's what I have on my end compare it to, well compare it to the stock cabinet on the back wall so that's a quick look at end panels and cabinet solutions if you have any questions call give us a call at 574 968-8142 or send an email to support at customcabinetsoftware.com. Thank you.